We use around 20% of our household's water in the kitchen. Although this is lower than the volume of water we use in the bathroom, there are still plenty of opportunities to encourage the whole family to save water when preparing meals and washing the dishes. It's necessary to understand the importance of conserving this precious resource and it's a great time to find ways to save water. Here are our top 10 simple tips for saving water in the kitchen. Hold off on running the dishwasher until you have a full load of dishes. This way, you'll be able to make the most of the electricity, water and detergent the dishwasher needs to clean your dishes. Whenever possible, choose the quickest wash setting. An aerator is like a ring with a small mesh screen in the middle. Installed on the tip of a faucet, Aerators reduce water flow by adding air to the water. Even though less water is being used, aerators allow the water pressure to stay pretty much the same. Installing faucet aerators is one of the cheapest ways to save water. For your investment of as little as $1, you could reduce water usage by 30 to 50%. Steaming vegetables requires a lot less water and retains far more nutrients than boiling. Steaming is a relatively quick way to cook food. When you steam food, you avoid the hidden calories of butter, oil, and other fats, leaving the bright flavors and textures of the food intact. The absolute best way to maintain the heat of steam is to keep the lid on your pot or steamer. That keeps the steam inside the pot so it can cook your food, as well as maintains the water level at the bottom. Once you arrive at the boiling point, you can turn the heat level down a bit but not too much that you've stopped creating steam. Rinse your fruit and vegetables. The key to water efficiency is to avoid leaving your tap running. So save water by rinsing your vegetables and fruit in a bowl. Plan ahead too. You can expect to make water saving of up to 20 liters by washing all your fruit and vegetables in advance. So just wash your whole lettuce, rather than the leaves you need, and then wrap it in a kitchen towel and use it when you need it. It's a great time saver too and means your food will take less time to prepare. Another way to save water when washing up is to wash or wipe dishes as soon as you can. That way the food doesn't harden and less water is needed to get them sparkling clean. Also give the dishes a soak first to soften the stubborn bits and then scrub with a brush or sponge. It's much more water efficient than washing them under a running tap. If the dishwasher in your home has been in use since 2011 or earlier, it's time for a change. Dishwashers that are more than 10 years old waste as much as 50% more water and energy than newer models. It's true that putting frozen foods under running water helps them defrost quickly, but it also takes a lot of water. Plan ahead and put frozen food in the refrigerator the day before you need it. Your food will defrost slowly and safely without using a drop from the tap. If you are waiting for hot water to come through, catch the initial cold water and use it to water plants, rinse dishes or wash fruit and vegetables. And make sure your hot water system is not set too high. Adding cold water to cool very hot water is wasteful. Use a reusable water bottle made from glass or BPA-free plastic. Not only will you be able to keep track of how much you are drinking, but it will also help reduce half-drunk glasses of water. Plus, you'll save time and water on washing glasses. Choose a proper sized pot for cooking. 
larger pots require more water which may be unnecessary and find recipes for one pot or one skillet meal so you reduce the number of dishes you have to clean. Most people don't realize how much water they waste on a daily basis. Putting these tips to use will immediately impact your home's water and this helps you save money, helps your community, and protects the planet.